Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to show you my house then. Okay, great. Uh, my name is Christopher Harrington, and uh, here we are on the 46th floor uh, in Midtown Manhattan, and I've been here for 24 years. Yes, I moved here when I was four. <laughs> That's a lie. Um, <laughs> notice that over my, over my door, I've got Jesus. Hey, this is my Christo. favorite. Yeah, this is my favorite picture of him because he's got light coming out from him. He's not like hanging on a cross, bleeding or anything, but he's got light, so I like having him over my doorway. And then right here also is a picture of my entire family. This is them currently. Where am I? I'm here. My mom, my dad's passed, but my nana, and then all the rest of the Harrison clan. Oops. That's my boyfriend Bobby and his dog Sophie who's here with us. And notice I've got Salt Lake on my door. <laughs> so I keep my roots close. <laughs> I was there for the Olympics, which was magnificent. An angel card. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, this is a picture of, of me when I was uh, doing a photo shoot with this beautiful dolphin named Karib. Oh my god. Yeah, no, she was lovely. And right here, on the, just directly opposite of Jesus, is Buddha. And um, I have a strong affinity for Buddha as well as Jesus Christ. And, um, and oh, here's one of my favorite things here. Um, I fell in love with love John Lennon imagine. when I heard uh, when I heard the line in Imagine that said, um, "Imagine there's no heaven, and no no hell below us, uh, above us only sky, and and no religion too." And somehow that just hit me really deep because I suddenly went, "Oh yeah, what if there wasn't a heaven and there wasn't a hell?" and religion didn't matter and there were no borders of countries and and um so since then he's been my one of my favorite heroes and i always go to the mandala up in 72nd street like oh, when yeah. it's a whenever i'm going through something i go there you know so anyway welcome to my home uh <laughs> this is this is sophie right here she's not my dog she's my boyfriend's dog but she's That's a sophie. sweetheart she says hi She's a sweetheart, yes. She's gonna give me kisses. <laughs> she loves to get kisses. And this is my cat, Caruso, sleeping right now. You're very lucky because if he's not sleeping, then he tends to be very loud. Wow. <laughs> right. Um, let's see, this is my dad. Uh, my father, um, Edwin Chandler Harrison, was a fifth generation Mormon. I found out just recently that I'm actually a sixth generation Mormon. And um, his father was the bishop of the fifth ward in Brigham City, Utah. And he was in the bishopric as well there. Uh, and um, he, was a, he was a really great man. He didn't totally understand me, but by the, before he died, he, um, he definitely gave me his support. So I was very, very lucky. I think one of the reasons that I'm um, somewhat healthy mentally is because I uh, is, um, well, I never told him that I was gay. But right before I left Salt Lake City and moved to New York, he took me for a, a ride um, in the car and he said, you know, somehow we, we always knew that you were special. Out of the seven kids, you were, you were special. And that was his way of telling me that it was okay. And, um, and then when I moved to New York, he came to visit me and saw me in my Broadway show and got to meet my lover and, um, and just really gave me his approval. And then he died six months later. And before I went out on the on the protest, um, which we just did recently, I literally led the parade going down, you know, Broadway um, on my Segway, protesting the Mormon <laughs> Church. See the Segway. <laughs> this is my Segway. This is how I get around town. And but my father, what I wanted to say about it is that he, um, uh, well, he basically gave gave his approval to me before I left. And 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 I really got that. Like I really did a five minute meditation. I said, Dad. I'm about to go out and I'm about to protest the Mormon church and if I should have some bad feeling in my stomach then I'll know I shouldn't do this and I just got this warm feeling of joy so I did it uh, amazing this is oh this is my family this is us in 19 god what would it be 76 maybe this is me here yes I had much more hair <laughs> and uh, my sister Tiffany and JJ and my dad and my mom Jeannie and that's Vance, and that's Brian, and that's Jana, and that's Wynn. And, uh, Love it. yeah. Anyway, that's the family. This is my current family now, basically. <laughs> this is us at the Acropolis. Because it's not in the glass. Yeah. And um, I was trying to get, like, the perfect shot. <laughs> it was hard to organize, and that was actually the shot that wound up being the shot. <laughs> but it was fun. So this is my view of um, Midtown Manhattan. I, I love it because I get to really look down right over basically that's Times Square right down there and this is 42nd Street and I just love being in the middle of it all. 
and um, I don't know, I kind of feel like when I'm here that I've got, it's got a really special energy. This building is the same height as the Great Giza Pyramid in Egypt. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, I've got my Buddha, and i got my lights, and I do my meditations up here, and it's just kind of a special place.